take a look at this headline. Iowa Republicans take 4 a.m. vote, like the cowards they are, to vote to roll back child labor protections. Teens as young as 14 in the Hawkeye state may soon be able to work on meat processing lines, operate heavy machinery, work night shifts, and serve damn alcohol. So, you know, where have we been on this? Opponents of relaxing child labor laws see the legislation in states like Iowa as a step backwards after generations of strengthening. And the mayor noted that child labor protections, a sign that states are bowing to the pressures of capital rather than looking out for the best interests of kids. So whether it's allowing the NRA to continue to control them or allowing the GOP to be able to roll back the hands of time. At the peak of child labor during the industrial revolution, let's go and walk back in time for the last three minutes we got left. Miserable working conditions including crowded and unclean factories, a lack of safety codes and long hours were the norm. Children could be paid less and were less likely to organize into unions. That is it right there. Working children were typically unable to attend school, creating a cycle of poverty that was difficult to break. They know exactly what they're doing. 19th century reformers and labor organizers sought to restrict child labor and improve working conditions to uplift the masses. But it took the Great Depression, a time when Americans were desperate for employment to shake long held practice of child labor in the United States of America. Now this reversion back to the bad old days must be met with the same fury as the justice leaders of the past did. In walks Mary G. Jones, AKA Mother Jones in 1903. She led a children's march of about 100 children from the textile mills of Philadelphia to New York to show that she that was going to bring it to the higher ups from the millionaire bunch to President Teddy Roosevelt. And this is a quote from Mother Jones. They began work at 530 and quit at seven at night. Children six years old going home to lie on a straw pallet until time to resume work the next morning. I have seen the hair torn out of their heads by the machinery, their scalps torn off. And yet not a single tear, tear was shed while the poodle dogs were loved and caressed and carried to the seashore. You know what, we ain't got a whole lot of time. We're gonna stop it right there. We're gonna get on next week the migrant workers that President Biden is not protecting. But let's just, Mayor, let's just go ahead and rest there. And if I might, if I may, just go ahead and lay in chattel slavery that did not give a damn for black children. Mayor, it's you, it's on you. I think you cleaned it up well. And I would just add in chattel slavery, we had women giving birth to kids in the field and continuing to work immediately. So we know what's going on here. Keating Owens in 1916, slavery back then, and these laws in Iowa and Arkansas now, we see the same white people making the same amount of money or more off exporting kids and the most vulnerable amongst us. There it is, shame on us. United States of America. So that's the kind of, we need presidents and people in office who not gonna sit back and take this foolishness. Gas up the jet, baby, because if it was my jet, I'd be gassing it up. And I know you would too, man. Well, hell, it is our, we do pay taxes for Air Force One.